In the previous lesson, we made an album. Let's do something practical with an album, like use it to generate a slideshow. So first thing, we need our album. And I'm going to do an instant album on this one right here. Just right-click my mouse, go into Instant Album. Now, 04 is not the name that I want. So if I right-click on that, I do have an option to rename. And we'll call this one Slideshow. Click OK. Now, we can order them any way that we want by dragging them. That's number one. Number two, I don't want this one, and I don't want this one down here. But if I select this one and press the delete key, that's the backspace key in Windows delete on a Mac, understand what you're doing, even though this is an album. You are deleting this from your catalog. Okay, it will be removed from 04. But I just want to get rid of it in the slideshow. So do this. Let's get out of here. Easiest way, right-click your mouse, Remove from album and click here. And we'll do the same thing on this one. Now, if I come back over into 04, they're still there, but not if you run the standard delete procedure. Okay, so we've got them in the order that we want. We've removed the ones that we feel we don't need. We have all our guests all around us. We've got this thing hooked up to a TV or whatever, and we click the slideshow button down here. And here we go. A little bit boring right now. The slides are just kind of moving and bumping one to the other. No music in the background. There are certain things that we can do here. Let's do this. As I look at these, that one I don't think I want because her eyes are closed. So press Escape. Now when you do press the Escape key, you go out of Slideshow. And I'm going to pick up this one right there and right-click my mouse and say Remove from Album. I don't want that one. Now click the Slideshow button again, and it's just going to do the Slideshow again. So what do we do here? Well, just move your mouse somewhere in that window and it will open up this display and click the pause button right here. And now we can begin controlling what we see. We have two areas over here, edit and organize. If you don't see them, you want to come back out over here and click this button right here to expand our display. And you've got fix and you've got organize. Now, if you click them again, it turns them off. And if you want to see them, click them once and they come out, but they will expand and collapse based on if they're being hovered over. So if I want to look at my edit options, I can go here. Now we haven't really talked much about this stuff yet, but we can oh, sharpen images, we can rotate them, delete them if we want to, print them, whatever. If we come down to here, which is organized, we can add them to an album, if we have any, and we can add keyword tags if we want to, even custom ones down here. So these two areas control the image over here that's active. Now, what else is here? Well, you have a theme button right here. Now, right now, our theme is classic, which means that the slides just kind of boom, boom, boom. This one over here, they fade in and out. I like this one, pan and zoom. That adds a little bit of life. Let's try that one. Click here. Click OK. Click our play button down here. That makes them a little bit more lively, I think, and not too distracting. I teach applications like PowerPoint, and I teach people who use it a lot that know the program, but they don't know why they're using it. In other words, mechanically, they can use it. And I have a problem with people that basically try to add every single special effect they can. You can distract people. It's about the message. That one's kind of nice. It pans it in and out. What else do we have? Well, here's your button if you want to see or hide the film strip. You have a view button right here if you want to change how you see them side by side or two of them at a time. In other words, it's up to you. In settings, we have background music. All right. And we have all the music that Adobe gave us. Let's try Big Band Bash. Play duration, how many seconds? Do you want to include captions if they're there? Do you want to allow the photos to resize, videos to resize, show the film strip, repeat slideshow? Typically, when I do this once, my relatives are ready to move on, so I'm not going to repeat it. And let's go ahead and click OK. Let's see what we got. Kind of cute. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this area down right there. And I think I am going to actually go into settings and turn off the music. Let me show you one more thing. In theme, this one right here is really cool. Let me show it to you. 
Click OK down here. Now watch this. Whoa. Isn't that cool? But you know what it is? It's distracting. Are you looking at the images or are you looking for a special effect? I'm not saying there isn't a reason why you might want to use something like that, but it is kind of a distracting thing. Cool, though. Slideshows? There you go. You want to make them? To me, in my opinion, the best way to do that is to control them through an album. And if you're done with that slideshow, simply say delete. It's as easy as that.